Hello. Have another fun little kit. Really simple. Um, this one is. I just put it together and come up with a couple ideas, but there's plenty in it for you to come up with things. It's tickets. And these little packets of tickets were donated by our very own Vintage Kim and two um, ink pen refills donated by our very own trucker Janie. So that's in in the kit and a couple of paper clips and then there will be paper to make a book. So um, what I really want to start off with is just the few ideas that I come up with. Nothing, nothing fancy. Believe me, nothing fancy. But it's fun. So I did an, a flat ink pen with the blue tickets. Um, I just used, uh, where did mine go? Here we go. I have my own little bag of tickets. I don't have to use a kit. So I have the blue tickets. And to make it short like this, I used two. And my pins rolled off, but I know they're here because there's a whole bag of them. Okay, so I did find that I needed to, um, I needed to cut the um, ink pin down a little bit to use two. So I just folded it in half and then I glue it in here and I cut it down just a smidgen because I wanted it to be able to um, close up on the top a little bit better. So all I did was I took this and I will get my fabric tack here and I'm going to go ahead and fold this so I can see. And I'm just going to put my glue down. Of course, I'm going to go straight down the middle where the pin's going to be and the edges. I never know how much glue to put on with that. And then I'm going to lay the pin down in the center and fold this over. And these tickets didn't fold evenly. One side's a little longer, and there's nothing we can do about that. That's how they're made. So I'm just going to squeeze it down, kind of um, rubbing it a little bit, letting it conform to the shape. I don't want to use anything too sharp and rip it, but I want it to conform to the shape of the pin in there. And... It's a little bit crooked, but hey, it's, it's still wet enough to slide over. So there you go. Now, if you want to take some oh, little snippets of something and put things on it or a stamped image or a button, you can do that. And if you want to make it into a paper clip, well, first of all, if you notice, mine has the holes. Let me grab my paper punch. And since I have a million of them over here, it might take me just a second to find the right one. Well, maybe not. I got lucky there. So all I did with this is I took in a quarter inch punch and just punched a little bit at the corner. And at that corner. I'm not going to worry about those because I'm going to cut that off to a point. And right there at that. And now they look like real tickets. So um, to cut them off, I just start right here and you just kind of eyeball it. You can measure it. That's, that's fine. So now you have this wonderful little pin that you can put into your 
a pocket in your journal and it won't take up any space. Now, if you're like me and you still would lose it, um, you could turn it into a paper clip. And all you need to do on that one, and I'm going to go ahead and, well, no, I'm not. We're going to wait on that. Grab me a paper clip. And I'm going to go ahead and put the paper clip on here. I'm going to leave a little bit of a loop up on the paper clip. Um, that's, that's a little exaggerated. I don't need quite that much. Probably about there. And I am going to cover this with glue, making sure I get it the paper clip really well covered. And there are tons and tons of videos out there on flat ink pens. This is just something I was playing around with to get the um, use the tickets up. I thought it was just a fun little thing. And, and you know, you can ink the edges, you can do whatever it is you want for decorating that. So I'm just going to hold it for just a couple seconds and make sure it's nice and adhered. And you can always just put a clamp on it. This glue does not take long to um, adhere down. I thought maybe I was going to get out of the fumbles today, but I still kind of got the fumbles. And then I didn't pre-punch the holes on the paper clip part, but if I was to do this, I would probably put it all together and then punch the holes because, as you can see, I kind of made that one a little bit big. And there you go. Now you've got your paper clip on it, and you can clip it into your book. And I had a little bitty bit of fiber right here, and I got distracted with something else. You know how that goes. You get one project going, and 10 minutes later, you forgot what you were doing, and, and you just don't ever get back to it. And that's kind of what happened with me. So I have way more than I need here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. We're going to go with about, it's about 12 inches. And I'm going to put it through the hole. And if you happen to, because on this pin, I wanted to show you this. On this pin, I used three. And these were some that aren't in the kit, but you have plenty of, um, you have pink and orange ones. So, but I might stick some in there, who knows. And if you've already put your paper clip on, and I mean, there's no way to see anything to put a hole in there or, you know, there's not enough gap to put it in, you can easily just slide it up under the paper clip. I only, only one side went up there. Okay. Let's slide it up in the paper clip. And you've got your folded there. Put this through the hole. And there you go. Now your paper clip pin or your pen has it. I did not cut the points of this because I'm not sure what I'm going to do on it yet. I think I want to decorate it, but I'm not positive. Um, but this one here is will be real easy to um, put your folded ends through. I say that. Easy. Yes. It should be. There we go. So I do have to say that today in my distracted projects, I found something I'd been looking for for about a week. And I was really excited. It'll be another kit. So here it is with the tassel. And you can just clip it right into any book you happen to have that you want to make something out of. I don't, I don't have a book handy, but a piece of cardboard here. And there you go. You have your paper clip with your string tassel. And you can put on more. And you can you can decorate it. But this is kind of simple and fun. And considering this is kind of a, a throwaway down the road, that's okay. 
So I have this one where I did the three tickets, and actually I used six, and I, I used seven because I used um, one to hide the paper clip on the back. So this one I was thinking I'd do a little bitty cluster, or at least set it up so maybe we could see what we thought about it. So I have this punched flower, and so I could put that on there, and button and have a decoration that way. I could use a cluster of little fabrics and papers and, and then put a button on that or a flower or something and get your um, decorated little pins. So one more thing that I wanted to show you with that was just with the pins. Those, that was my ideas with the pins. Is again, you can do the hidden paper clip right with the pins. And um, I guess, let me see, where's my colors? I don't see them. So we're just going to use the blue ones again because they're here. And I'm going to take two of them. Sorry, I was out of screen there. I apologize. And these do not have them punched either. The, well, silly me. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. So we're going to just use these. And you're going to need two. And what you're going to do is, again, you're going to take your paper clip. And these are all over the place, too. I'm sure everyone's seen it. Figure out what you like best. You have... You know, this one has the star, and this one says Century Novelty. So I think we're going to go with this because, you know, it's got the numbers, and numbers are kind of fun. So all you have to do is figure out which side of the paper clip you want out. And I tend to like the big side out because it just fits these so perfect. So you just put that on there. Put your glue on there. Again, making sure you get a good amount on the paper clip. And ta-da! You now have a cute little ticket that makes a paper clip. The fun thing about this is it can go on this way and it can go this way. So it's, it's, it's really a useful and it's not sticking up a lot. So that's, you know, another thing with the ticket. But here's my favorite. And um, I made this little booklet. And I have made several of these, and I had this really cute one with this little bird on it and all that, and hmm, it has just disappeared in my crazy mess. But all I did is I took a double, a set of, of the double tickets, and I grabbed two of them, and I made my book. So we want to measure this, and... It is, oh, this is my Art Deco ruler. It's it's a centering ruler also. So it is about three and three quarters. So I'm going to cut it at three and a half by just under two. And also in your kit will be a piece of paper. This is some of my tea dyed. You can see the aluminum pan I use it in. And then there's some little laces that I put on there. So, I already forgot my measurements. See, normally, when I'm working on things, on my Tim Holtz mat, on this white part over here, I get my Stilebo pencil and I write all my information for a project down on my Tim Holtz mat on the white part. But it glares so bad that I put my cutting mat over it. So, um, this was... Three and a half. So we're going to, I could get the paper cutter and probably normally I would, but I'm not going to this time. For some reason, I'm just not going to. So I'll get my pencil, zero, three and a half, and I am just going to tear that. And I'm not completely concerned whether or not it's straight. I'm trying, but you know, it's, it's a simple little book. So 
So it's three and a half this way. And then it needs to be just under two. So I am just going to, I'm just going to lay it on my mat and go to the two inch and tear it. And you can put as many pages in you as you want. It's little, so you don't want to put a whole lot. And it'll be tucked in a book, so you don't want it too thick. So I'm going to stick with three pages. Although, really, I, I'm getting four just in that one sheet of little piece of paper. And I'm going to fold it in half. And they're not straight because I didn't use the paper cutter. I just tore them. And that's okay. Let's get them all flush and folded. And then we'll take them and we'll hold them in there and see. And, of course, they're a little bit big and because they didn't all tear correctly. And instead of messing with it too much, I'm going to grab a big pair of scissors. And we're just going to trim this off. And now we'll see how that fits again. Still a little bit big. And because the edges of these are kind of... Um, tea stained a little extra dark. I'm still going to cut on this one spot up here. And it's okay if they're a little bit shorter. Then I'm going to even out my pages over here. Woo! Sorry, didn't mean to make y'all seasick there. So I'm going to put my pages in there. And I'm going to take a needle. Now the needle will not be in the kit, but a little piece of waxed thread will. I'm, I'm using pink because that's what's on my needle. And if you haven't figured out by now, I tend to work with what's handy. So I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to pre-poke holes or anything. I'm just going to poke it in, leave me a towel, come back to what I think is you know, the next place, the other side, and it's just going to be the two holes and tie it together. And you can easily put this on the other side and have the knot on the outside and put a little charm or bead or something in it. And just tie a little knot, make sure it's tight, don't pull too hard because you will easily rip because you are in a perforated spot where you tied that on. You can leave them long and put dangles. You can cut them short. You can cut them really short. It's totally up to you. So there you go. Now I did that with this one. And in the yellows, it does have the holes already. But if because I did this one with the blues, if I wanted to poke the holes, I could. But I think, I, I think I'm not going to because now it's a nice little square book. I could crop the corners if I wanted to. But I think... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to leave it like this. So now you have this cute little tiny book that you can decorate any way you want to. Again, you could put some die cuts on it. You could paint it. You could do a little cluster on it. But I thought let's take it up just a little step instead of just decorating it. Let's turn it into a paper clip too. And you would do it just like you did the others for the most part. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a, a set of two and I'm going to put my glue and I tell you I'm hoping pretty soon I can get some glue because this is the end of it and it is on the end and I should have put the paper clip on there first but I didn't. So I'm going to put it right here so figure out which one you know if I want to go the same way little strings of glue sticking to everything here I'm gonna put my paper clip on and I'm gonna put this on the back and I've got it backwards even though I thought I was doing it right so I'm just gonna adhere that on hold it in place and Everything pretty much matches up on that back part. You can slide it around until it does. There we go. And now your little book is a paper clip. 
and had you put your stitch in and pulled your strings out this way you could have definitely left them long enough to make them a tie for the little bitty journal now this one I used a map because I thought the pages were cool and I have a whole ton of maps so I thought that was kind of fun but again you can do whatever you want with this so that was three different ways to use the tickets and make a really fun little project and there's tons of tickets left over you will have um, two pins in each kit so you can make a couple of pins you don't have to make them strictly with the tickets you can make them however you want which we're going to do real quick because there was plenty of pins left over and um, I thought I'd like to use my painty papers and make me my own really cool pin. So you can determine how much, how wide you want it, how long you want it. This is just under two inches, just barely under two inches. And I'm going to reach over here and grab my paper cutter because I want this one relatively accurate. So I'm going to put it on here and center it. And I'm going to cut it in half. Oops. Those little glue strings dropped them all to the floor. And the older I get, the harder it is to get to the floor. Okay, so... Um, I can just sit here and figure out which parts of the painting papers I like best. And if I wanted to, I could grab some pins and let's just let's just kick the painting papers up just a bit. Let's um, add some marks. And of course you gotta you gotta have circles. That's a given. And I tend to do a lot of little loopies. And here I think I'm just going to do some lines and a spiral or two. Just, just, just a little bit of doodling. I hope you can see that. Nothing fancy, believe me, nothing fancy. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay my pin down and see how long I need it to be. And I'm just going to cut it off about a half an inch longer than the pen, give or take. So I will take these two pieces and I want it, I know which part of this, so I'm going to flip it over so I can cut it. And yeah, that's not very straight, so we'll straighten that up. We'll cut this side. And now I have, and, and nobody's ever going to know that it's beautiful inside and out, just like all of you guys are. So do the same thing, put some glue, go down the middle, make sure you get your corners, put your pin in. I don't remember which way I wanted top or bottom, so I guess we will just take it how it flows. And now I'm going to put just a little bit more glue on top of the ink pen to make sure it's, it's got sticky from both directions. Center that. Let me zoom in just a little bit so maybe you can see it better. Still learning my camera and all of its pluses. And uh, it's, I'm still slow though, but I'm getting there. So I've got that on there and I've got the glue on there. And I want that to be on the top on that side. And I'm not going to push it all the way down from this side because the curve of the pin would make one side not even since we cut them even. And I'm just going to kind of pinch them from both sides. This is a, a relatively heavy paper. It's not quite a cardstock, but with all the layers of paint on it, it's pretty darn um, thick. So 
So I've done that. Let's get my little my little scoring tool, folding tool, bone folder thingy. It goes to my, um, you know, scoreboard. There we go. <laughs> So there we go. So we've got that. And, you know, i got to have it as a paper clip because, you know, maybe I won't lose it then. We're not going to guarantee anything, but we, we might not. So let's take this end. And let's not think it out too hard, Jean. Let's not think it out too hard. Which side? I want this side to show. So I'm going to put this on here, put my glue on it, because these strips were already cut at the same size, you notice I'm wiggling the paper clip so it gets glue from the edges. And I cut it off, because it doesn't need to be that long. Again, I cut it didn't cut it straight. And that's because I can't cut straight. I have to have my cutting. I just do. So we have to decide where we want that. And it'll go here. I really like this, but I like this better. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here and pinch in it. And as you're, if you can get your glue to set on there for a little bit it kind of wets the paper and lets it bend a little bit better because your fibers kind of give a little bit when they're wet so there we go i'm still got glue coming out the edges and i'll have to do a little trimming here but i think i'll let it sit up and be nice and glued but i am going to go ahead and I think I'll give this one a little bit of an angle down here. Watch out, flying papers. And I, I still think I want it just a little bit, I don't know, a little bit more frou-frou or something, I guess. I'm just eyeballing it. You're, you can most certainly measure it and get it the way you want it. So there we go. I think my... Um, paper needs trimmed a bit here and I think I kind of want to just snip those off I don't necessarily want to round them and I don't want them as pokey or pointy as that but I think just it just is a little more pleasing to the eye so there we go and if it's not quite decorated enough and you want to make it look different still there's nothing saying you can't doodle on it some more You know, write your name on there. And this side, of course, this has got some scribbles, but this side doesn't. And I think I'll put my name right inside the paper clip. And now I know it's mine, and nobody's going to steal my beautiful pen. And with that being said, let's just take our pen and let's frou for it a little bit. And I, I, I have beside me this pile of fibers from another project because, like, there's just so many projects started here. And there's just little piles all set and waiting to be turned into videos. So this is what I'm going to use. There's several pieces of fiber here, and I hope they all stay together. I'm going to put it through the hole and this is the really thin stuff with the fuzzies hanging off and because I want it extra fluffy and I'm just going to tie it and I could easily put a drop or two of glue on that so it stays and give it a little haircut these are not these are definitely paper scissors so there's my special pin with my papers. It's made with a painting paper that I made. Um, if you didn't put the paper clip on it, you could go sew that down with your sewing machine. 
as I'm sitting here pinching it, I realize that. And that would be really, really cool. So I think if I try this again, I'm going to run this down the sewing machine on both sides. You might have to put on your zipper foot, and then I'll put the paper clip on it. But that's just another way to make the ink pens. Now, the kits, like I said, have the tickets and the pins and the paper clips and the paper for the book and the string to make the little book. And there will be some separate kits that are just the pink um, ink pen refills and a couple of paper clips. So you can do what you want with your own supplies. Thanks again for watching. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.